All right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It's Mr. Shajari here. Welcome to Back to Basics, right? Now, what we are doing now, we are still looking at our statistics, grade 11. And then we are looking at our past paper, which is November 2023. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is from the uh, Eastern Cape province, right? This is from the Eastern Cape province. Now, uh, what is it that you are given here? So they are saying, uh, question one, the Fox and Husker diagram below shows the distribution of the September examination marks of the group of what? Of 24 boys in grade 11. The median is 84 and the mean is what is uh, your 87. Now they say, how many of the boys scored more than, uh, what? More than 100 and what? This is going to be more than, uh, 105. So what is it that you are going to do now from here? So uh, now they are saying how many boys scored more than 105. So what is the best thing that you are going to do now from here? Uh, now to find out in terms of how many of the boys scored more than 105, then you are going to calculate firstly. They are saying the median, uh, we are having uh, what here? You are having your Q1. Remember this is same as Q1. Right? This is same as Q1. This is same. Oh, this is same as minimum value, right? Minimum value. This is Q1. This is Q2. This is Q3. And this is going to what? This is going to your maximum value, right? So, and whenever you are looking for the boys that uh, scored more than that, you are going to same as what? You are going to say uh, 1, 2, 7, subtract. 105 right then what is it that you're going to get here you're going to get your 22 once again so which means here it's going to be same as one uh two seven this is one uh two seven subtract uh your what to do 105 and then the answer that you're going to get here it's going to be same as 22 once again so 22 of the boys scored more than one or what more than 105 then the second question, they say, in which direction are the marks uh, skewed, right? So, uh, which one now is it going to be? Now, if you can look at the space now, starting from here and then just checking here, you can realize that you are having more uh, more space on the right-hand side than on the left-hand side, right? So, which means this particular data of ours is therefore going to be skewed, right, to the right, right? Uh, now, others, they say it is positively skewed, right? Positively uh, skewed. Oh, it's again. So, uh, now, those are the two terms that you can, you know, uh, you can produce whenever you are given uh, about such a question. Now, 1.3, they say, what is going to be the range of this data, right? And we all know that whenever we are looking for range, range is always given by the maximum value subtract your minimum value, which means now what is the maximum value in here? You're having 127 as the maximum value and the minimum value is 68. How to get? So which means then what is going to be the range in this case? It's going to be your 59. How to get? Now that's going to be the range that you're going to uh, have whenever you are given this data. Now, uh, 1.4, they say, on checking the answer book of the candidate who scored 127, and an adding error is discovered and his marks change to uh, 147. Now they say determine uh, the result of the following, right? Of the following measures, right? So now they want us to find out what is going to be the median, right? Now is calculating is the, what is uh, changing your mid, uh, your maximum value going to affect your median? No, because the median is determined by what? How many data that you are having? How to get? If you are having 20 numbers, it's going to be between the 10th and 11th numbers, right? So in whatever, in this case, which means since you are having 24 boys, it's going to be between the uh, the what the 11th or rather the 12th and also the 13th, uh, the 13th uh, term. How to get? So which means now in this case, uh, you what? Your median remains the same, right? So your median in this case is going to be uh, remain unchanged. This is going to remain unchanged. Once again, this is going to remain unchanged. And now they want you to find out what is going to be the mean of this stage, right? So now how can you find out the mean in this case, right? 
So let's see. Uh, now, uh, in this case, they are saying uh, now the marks change to uh, what? To 147, right? So now, uh, what is the best thing that we can do now from here? We can say, all right, uh, now the changes uh, here, you are going to start by saying the data, the number of these learners, they are still what? They are still, they are still what? They are still your what? They are still 24. Oh, it's again. And then which means now what is it that you're going to get? Then you're going to say, look, now we are going to say 87, uh, right? What is going to be the 87? Let's see now uh, from here. So you are having what? You are having 24. Remember here they said you are having 24, right? So which means you are going to say 87, right? 87 uh, multiply by the what? Multiply by the number of, remember the 87 is the mean, right? So it's 87 multiplied by, in this case, now it's multiplied by 24 plus 20, plus 20, right? And then this is then going to be divided by what? This is divided by 24. How to get so which means now your new median uh or rather your new mean on this particular case it's going to be same as 87 comma what 87 comma 8 how to get so now that's going to be the new mean of this particular date right so where did we get the 87 the 87 was the mean the previous mean now this is multiplied by 24 which is the top uh the number of boys that you're having plus 20 which is the uh the variance remember 140 subtracts I mean, 147 subtract 127 is given by 20. How to get? So, which means now in this case, it's going to be what? This is going to be over 20, right? So, that's what basically you are required to do uh, in this particular case, right? Hopefully, you can answer all these questions whenever you are given. Thank you very much.